let's take a look at how we can combine relations. Now thankfully, we already know a little bit about how to combine sets, so we're really just going to use that in a relation as well. So if I'm looking at um, A being 1, 2, 3, 4, B is 0, 1, 2, and then I've given you two relations, R1 and R2, and I'm trying to find the union, the intersection, R1 minus R2, R2 minus R1, and then remember this is that X or, which we'll talk about when we get down there. First, let's look at the union. Remember, the union of sets it just includes all of the ordered pairs from each set. So I would have one zero, I would have one one, that's coming from R2 down there. I like to put them in order because I'm, you know, a math geek like that. Uh, I have one comma two. Oh, and I guess I have one one over here as well. So I've used these. Um, I've used that one. I also have two two and three two and four two. So all those are all of the values in the union of the two relations. R1 intersect R2 means what do they have in common? So let's look at what they might have in common. 1, 1 looks to be an ordered pair that they have in common. Um, and I think that about does it. So the only thing in the intersection is 1, 1. Oops, I need, sorry, parentheses around that as well. R1 minus R2 says let's start with these four, take away anything that is in R2 that I can take away, which means I have 1, 0, I have 1, 2, I don't have 1, 1 because subtracting R2 took it away, and I have 2, 2. Same goes for R2 minus R1. I'm going to have all of the elements of this set except for 1, 1 because 1, 1 would be taken away when I subtracted R1. So that would leave me with just 3, 2 and 4, 2. The last one is R1 XOR R2, which just means that it can be in one or the other but it cannot be in both. So essentially, it's like taking the union minus the intersection. So it's all of the values in the union, one, zero, not one, one, because that would be taken away because that's the only one that I have to take away. One, two, 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 three, two, and four, two. Man, I liked the twos when I made this example. And that is how we could combine them. Another way that we might choose to combine relations is by composition. And essentially what composition tells us is the point A comma C will be in the composition of the two relations, R1 composed with R2. If we have that AB a comma B is, is an element in R1 and B comma C is an element in R2. This makes way more sense when you look at an example, so let's look at the example I have laid out for us. And so I'm looking for R1 composed with R2. And what do I get? Well, that tells me, what this tells me to do is start with 1, which is the first element of, or the first part of the ordered pair of the first element of R1. 1 says to map to 1, but I'm not going to write 1 in my composition. I'm going to go over here to R2 and say 1 tells me to map to 0. So 1 comma 0 is a point in my um, relation. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. The next one says 1 maps to 3, so I'm going to put a 1 right here and that maps to three. Well, where does three tell me to go? Three tells me to go to one, so I've got a point one, one. But if you'll notice, three also tells me to go to two, so I'm going to have the point one, comma, two. 
Now let's look at my next ordered pair, 1, 4. So 1 tells me to map to 4, and 4 tells me to map back to 1, and I already have the point 1, 1, so I'm just going to not even write that one. Then I'm going to look at 2, 3. So 2 tells me to go to 3, 3 tells me to go to 1, and also to 2. Then I look at my next ordered pair, which is 3, 1. So 3 tells me to go to 1, 1 again tells me to go to 0, and then 3 tells me to go to 4, but 4 tells me to go to 1, and so that is the composition of my functions. So let's take a look at what happens now if I compose a relation with itself. And again, this is pretty straightforward. Just as we talked about before, AC will be in that composition if both AB and BC are in the relation. So if I have the relation R that includes 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 3, then my composition of R with itself tells me that my first point is going to be a 1, and 1 tells me to map to 1 which means I go to find 1 and 1 tells me to map to 1. So 1, 1 is really just going to map to itself. And then I have 2, and 2 tells me to map to 1, and 1 tells me to map to 1, and so I have 2, 1. And then I have 3, and 3 tells me to map to 2, and 2 tells me to map to 1, so it's 3, 1. And then I have 4, 4 tells me to map to 3, and 3 tells me to map to 2, and so 4, 2 would be my composition of R with R. So being able to compose a relation with itself essentially tells us that we can find powers of a relation. So here if I'm finding R to the N for R, I'm sorry, for N is 2, 3, 4, or 5, that means r squared is really just r composed with r. And r to the third is really just r squared composed with r. And you get the idea because of course r4 would say take r3 and compose it with r, and r5 would be take r4 and compose it with r. So again, let's take a look. We have r squared. And we just did that on the last example, so we're not going to go through that one again. We found it to be 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, and 4, 2. So to find R3, essentially what it's telling me to do is to compose this R2 with R1. So let's do that. 1, 1 tells me to start with 1. That maps to 1. 1 tells me to map to 1, so 1, 1 is a point again. 2 tells me to map to 1, and 1 tells me to map to 1, so 2, 1 is a point. 3 here tells me to map to 1, and 1 up here tells me to map to 1. And then 4 tells me to map to 2, and 2 tells me to map to 1. So R3 would be 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. Oops, close the brackets. If I now want to find R4, I'm composing R3 with my original R. So for R4, I'm going to again start with 1, 1 says to map to 1, 1 says to map to 1, so 1, 1 is in R4. 2 tells me to map to 1, 1 tells me to map to 1, so 2, 1 is in R4. 3 tells me to map to 1, 1 tells me to map to 1, so 3, 1 is in R4. And then 4 tells me to map to 1, 1 tells me to map to 1, so 4, 1 is in R4. And then if I look at R5, I'm looking at 1, 1, 2, 1, 
three one and four one because I'm really just doing the exact same thing that I did last time. <laughs> 